What's going on, everybody? Good afternoon. Haven't done a video in a while. This is Carlos Diesel Electric. I've got a Freightliner Cascadia EPA 10. If I'm not mistaken, that is going to be a 2012. So 11, 12, 13s. That should be EPA 10. It does use the DEF system. There's our wonderful DEF that we all know and love. And we do have a malfunction light on. So right now, when we go ahead and launch our software, one code that you're going to get, this is SPN3556 mode 18 or FMI 18, DOC outlet temp, low temp regen. Okay, so let's look into that and let's see what causes that particular issue. I think I may have covered it in other, other videos, but I'm gonna go through it anyway, just kind of give you some pointers and hopefully we can get this thing resolved. Typically what that fault code means, normally the DOC is not getting hot enough. So I'm showing you here on the passenger side, okay, there's your EGR valve, blah, blah, blah. Back here, there is your doser diesel injector or diesel doser injector, however you wanna call it, seventh injector, whatever works for you. Anyway, typically back here, this will get clogged up. The S-pipe, the pipe that comes down from the turbine towards the exhaust tubing. Again, you don't have to take everything apart. What you do need to do is take apart that right there with the 14 millimeter and then you got to hold that with the 12 millimeter once you do that this becomes loose move that other way this is your fuel supply line okay then you're going to back this completely out and then i'll show you what to do from there that's the, the first thing you're going to want to do is check that easiest thing to do again is check that sometimes it's blocked it's clogged with soot whatever it's pretty normal especially on higher mileage vehicles this unit has 1 million almost 1.1 million miles on it, original. So anyway, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna show you guys what I do and then we're gonna try and do a region and hopefully that resolves the temperature. Okay, so really quick, I pulled out the injector itself that's on the S pipe or the exhaust. And again, this is the diesel doser injector, okay? Now, typically what happens is this gets clogged up, okay? Either the carbon will block this or on the actual S pipe right around this area, you won't see it, but this gets blocked with carbon as well, or soot. So a lot of times when you remove this piece from there, you're gonna wanna head and you're gonna wanna go ahead and get like a screwdriver, something like that, something that's gonna go long enough that's gonna be able to push the carbon out. That should be the issue that should resolve the issue. Okay, so we're gonna do that right now, put all back together and try and do a regen. If the temperatures rise, then we know we did it right. If not, then we may have an issue where the one box may be getting plugged. Uh, a DOC issue, something of that nature, or maybe DPF issue. But anyway, I wanted to show you that, and I'm gonna clean okay, that up. Okay guys, so we have cleared our, or at least attempted to clear our doser, the S-pipe, and right now what we're doing is we're gonna try to do a regen. Now, if you have the software, you can actually do the regen by just going through the troubleshooting steps, and then what will happen is it will do a regen on its own, and we're gonna determine whether we have a bad sensor, maybe it was blocked, or maybe we have a, a an issue that's a lot bigger than what we expected and that could be something going on with the one box or the DOC. So again, what we're doing right now is we're just checking to see how the temperatures are rising. So again, DOC inlet, DOC outlet. So it's gonna do a regen, takes about 35 to 45 minutes. So set your timer and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. And as you know, as this progresses, I will show you guys what what's, what's happening. I will show you what to look for. Uh, like I've done in my other videos. So again, this is what I'm going to do right now. And uh, we'll be okay, right back. Guys, so just a little clarification on this. What it's doing, it's not doing a full regen. What it is doing is a low temp regen. And the reason it's doing that is to find out which sensor, okay? So DOC inlet, DOC outlet, which sensor could be bad. So that's really all it's doing. And again, we're looking at 500 seconds left. So we're looking at, what is that, three, six, so a little under. 10 minutes roughly so again just to give just to keep you posted on that because again it is dosing but it's not going to dose like it would a normal regen okay again that's why our pressures are a little bit lower on the psi percentage is very little again it's just to find which sensor if a sensor is bad or if it was just a plug situation with the uh, doser so anyway i wanted to show you guys that again we're still doing this low temp region and let me tell you about this here really quick about da -da -da -da. previous steps let me just go on here really quick so I can show you exactly why or what it's doing uh, low temp regen okay and again that's just to find out if a sensor is bad so there you go I'm gonna keep doing this and I will keep you guys okay guys so right now 
it's done doing the low temp regen and it's gonna say to turn off the ignition. So let's see what happens. Visually inspect for any leaks. You should already know that before you actually get started. Are there any leaks? Click on no. Replace the doser block. So we have a doser block issue where it's not able to push enough fuel and that needs to get replaced. So that is what we need to do next. And after that, it will probably ask for a regen again. So let's get started with that. And okay we'll guys, and we are back. So we did replace our doser block. Okay, that is the diesel doser block that's located right by the fuel pump, the high pressure pump, right above the air compressor, right in that vicinity. Okay, I didn't do a video on that because honestly, there is no room to really film the process to film all that good stuff. So I'm doing a regen right now. The nice thing about the software is it lets you kind of go where you left off. In this case, it's going to do a regen. Um, again, the computer's gonna control everything. So at this point, there's nothing that I can do. It's just gonna verify that the temperatures rise as they should. So I will keep you guys so posted. We are doing a regen, a parked regen. Now this is a little different because again, the computer is now taking it to the next level to verify temperatures and whatnot. So it's actually doing a regular parked region or a high temperature region. Now, as you can see here, I'm gonna show you this. These are the temperatures. As you can see, the DOC inlet is 550 and it's climbing. The DOC outlet, 730, 760, and then it's gonna keep going all the way until about 1,000 or 1,100 degrees. The same is true for the DPF outlet temp, okay? So, really quick, I wanna try and highlight or focus on the doser fuel line pressure. It's at 49 PSI. Yesterday when we were doing it, it was barely at 25 to 30 PSI, which is very low. The percentage was at zero. Now the percentage is at 20%, which is good. That's what I want because I want to see temperatures rise. Now, as you can see here, it's a little different because the DOC inlet pressure is at one. Okay, that's, that's about right where it needs to be. Uh, anything that gets closer to two point something, then obviously we have a DOC face plug situation. So right now the temperatures are good. Look at that, climbing nice, steady. That's good stuff. So it's gonna do the regen. Again, it's going to take about 35 to 45 minutes. Okay, so just keep that in mind. I will keep you guys posted. And again, this is just troubleshooting this particular fault code, which is going to be DOC outlet temp low. Okay, I think yesterday I actually said DOC inlet temp. That's just a habit that I, because that's the one that comes up probably the most. But anyway, again, DOC outlet temp low. Fault code 3556, FMI 18 or mode 18. So again, I will keep you guys posted. Okay guys, we are back again, just checking in, dropping in, seeing what's going on. As you can see, temperature on the inlet side, DOC is 641, outlet is 1000, DPF is 1000. Again, these two will pretty much mirror each other, okay? As you can see, the doser percentage and the PSI, those are good. Those are definitely very good numbers. Uh, let's see what's going on over here. Falling code is not present. So, so far, so good. Code is inactive. The top one is for a sensor that's on the outside, that's on the cap or Freightliner side. I'm not worried about that right now. So again, uh, let's just see where we're at again. So, so far so good. I just wanna show you guys that on the SCR side, temperatures are right there. So not too bad. Everything seems to be pretty good. Again, just wanna show you what we see and we will go from there. So we will be back. Okay guys, and we are back. We did have a successful regen. Temperatures are good. Let me just go back and hopefully get that so you can see exactly what I am talking about. And right now, those are our temperatures. DOC inlet is 506 and dropping. DOC outlet 580 and dropping. And again, your DPF outlet will always be last and that's a thousand. So as it goes on, it will drop down to normal temperatures. Uh, oh, let me go back over here, sorry, let me go back to our troubleshooting. So our troubleshooting is pretty much done. So that means this was successful. The issue was the doser block, okay? And again, that is for the fault code that you see there, 3556, FMI 18, DLC outlet temp low. So as of now, oh, shall we go back? We are all done. Troubleshooting is all set. The guy can go down the road, should not have any issues, and again, code is now active. So if you guys have any questions, as always, I encourage you to hit me up uh, something in the comment section. If you like it, great. If you don't, tell me why. Don't just put a thumbs down. 
uh, subscribe. Hey, I appreciate you guys watching. Again, as always, thanks again.